three kinds of ducks here and, and you'll see all three but the, the picking duck here the Danish duck is a very fat duck uh, I think you'll know I don't know maybe you have you've had some of it yeah, yeah we had a yeah. Yeah. few hundred last yeah time. yeah so nice. okay yeah but but in our opinion it's a very fat duck yeah. and actually too fat but but some people they, they really love it we that, love that, it. that way it's pretty we, like yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> we have them from a day old we we, we don't uh, have them from eggs it's only from day old here and then they, we are uh, started up in uh, the houses out there, and the houses we can move them around. The geese stay here for the for the entire time in one pot, in one. Yeah, they stay pen. here, and then we move them around. Yeah. In the pen. In in, in the pen, yeah. yeah. According to the the, the, the the quality of the of the meat, we need the, our poultry, ducks, geese, and whatever. We need them to eat as much grass and clover and 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 herbs as. As possible. When I um, plant the, the field here with, with, the, with the grass, uh, we, we put in a lot of herbs too because they're more healthy because they eat herbs. And, and uh, I think that's all in do some things for the quality of the of the meat and the taste. They're, they're staying here for uh, 90 days. Actually, we are going to catch them um, here on Thursday, mm -hmm. um, and uh, then they are 90 days old, three months old. Um, and they're ready to go and, and, uh, and normally uh, conventional duck in the conventional production they are 52 years they old when they uh, slaughter them but they are they're looking very good now yeah <laughs> yeah and it's good when they use their wings yeah. they got some breasts so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a different kind of duck which is they call mulane as a farmer i like this duck much more because it's stronger and it's um, uh, the legs are uh, much better, it's, it's much better to, go, to walk around and, and it's, it's eating a lot more grass and, and uh, what is fine on the field compared to the Danish duck. There's more meat on it so, uh, so it'll, it'll last uh, for, for I think more people than, than, than the pink duck if, if you compare the two ducks. So, but they are uh, a little bit more difficult to, to slaughter because it, it can uh, be hard to get them clean to get all the feathers off. Normally, when um, when you slaughter a dog, you you put it in hot water first. I think it's 68 degrees water, and then you can take the feathers off. But uh, you only dry slaughter because then, then the skin is a little bit uh, get more uh, beautiful or in, in some way. Um, but with the mulan and with the fishy enough with the pig dog with the with the mulan and this is this mix and. and it's very hard to find the perfect time for, for, for slaughtering and I, I guess it's because of, of this mix they have two different times where they are ready to be slaughtered where, where the feathers uh, are loose enough to, to get off uh, when you say the feathers are ready is that then at eight weeks and at 14 weeks uh, in 14 weeks they're ready they're ready yeah and you you, you define that because of the feathers are loose yeah because when uh, the dog is changed feathers mm -hmm. From uh, from its eight years old, well, uh, eight weeks old or so, when it's it's, it's wool feathered, um, it uh, every month or one and a half months it changes feather, feather. 
And, that, and then the, the feathers come, come out from inside, of course. And um, when they started, they're such uh, blue, uh, pinny things coming out. And, and when you have those blue, pinny things, you can't take them off. So you need them. Actually, you, the best time is, is, is when it's, they're totally finished with, with putting up a new feather. Mm. But when you, uh, if, if, if you hit the time just in between there, where you have some short picks, well, so those uh, sticky things, mm -hmm. and you have full feather, you, those sticky things, they won't come off. So that's why it's so, so important when you slaughter the dogs, uh, the perfect time for it. Yeah. It, it, it's called flukinde, um, and, and, or airpil. Uh, may, maybe some of you have uh, heard it before. But, but that's a mix between the Burberry dog. Bur yes. Burberry dog, yeah. Or there, is, or there is the Burberry dog, I think, most of them. Burberry dog, yeah. And, um, and it's really um, a lot of meat on this and, and, and well, well, this, this, uh, this fat. They eat a lot of grass, you can see it's totally cut down. And here in this summer, where we have the, the drought, uh, everything was brown and there was no grass at all. A little bit of a problem because uh, they don't like the, the heat, the warm, the sun. So uh, they were laying in the forest behind there, uh, so so they could uh, stay out of the sun. You can see the, the leaves there have been eaten up there, just underneath. But we were very happy when the when the rain came again and, and uh, the fields were start getting green. So you didn't have to feed them more than normal? We have some grain which we cut and, and pack in those uh, plastic uh, rubbish. packages, yeah. Rub, rubbish, yeah. And uh, I have that from the year before, I have some and we, we could feed them with, so uh, that was good. Do they usually eat that, those leaves? Or is it just because they wasn't grass? Oh, they, they do it every they year. They do it all the time. Yeah, they, they eat everything they can get in, in, in touch with. <laughs> Just have to be green. When there was a lot of farms around, still on, on um, in the open land here around, on, um, each farm has its own group of uh, geese too. And that's what it was But it was uh, when we were preparing the very good meals, had to be geese or for Christmas or for modern Schaffen or, or whatever. There was, was one thing, but it was also a kind of um, uh, a watch, not a dog, but a watch bird or yeah. so, because and when, when they come, uh, people visiting the farm or uh, burglars or whatever, they were screaming up and, uh, and the farmer could go, go home from the field and say, oh, who's coming? So uh, I haven't told you, but we only grow this in the summer, in the, in the, in the summer after year. In the spring and in the, and in the summer year, we, we start off in March and then and then in the, here in October, 1st November, around there, uh, everything is slaughtered, and then we everything is uh, packed down, the fence, and electric lines, and so on, and we cut the grass, and, and, and if it's very bad, we, uh, we cultivate it and, and sow new grass and, and, and grain. Um, but in, in our opinion, um, the best quality of, of the, and the best way for the animals to live is uh, to have them when, when the grass is there and the clover is there and uh, when had heat. In, in the winter time, it will easily be watered and it will be cold and there will no nothing is growing there, so there will be nothing to eat. So uh, that's why we produce it all in the summer, in the year, in the summer half year, and then we uh, put it on frost and. Uh, have it for the rest of the year there. So, uh, it's best for animals and, and best for the quality of the meat. In our when we slaughter those, the tag is here. The weight is 20 kilos, 20, 20, 20, 22 kilos of the big ones. It's really a lot of meat, but it's a beautiful bird. And, uh, and the breasts, only the breasts, they are about three, three or four kilos each.
finally <laughs> we have the um, skunk killing skunk killing we call it and it's, uh, it's, it's a breed that we started up uh, four years ago and we are the only one who grow those uh, birds here uh, or those that kind of uh, chicken in Denmark and when, when we have organic uh, chicken or, or birds uh, generally it's uh, very important that they come out and eat and uh, the uh, normally organic chicken uh, they won't have the mobile houses that we have here they will have a normally uh, brick brick house and then they will have the field just outside and uh, the chickens they may go 10 or 20 meters out and then they won't go longer but in the way we, we have them here we have the mobile houses and we have the forest there they uh, kind of running back and forward and, uh, and, and in that way they, they're moving a lot more you can see they have the strong legs as well and uh, actually the, you have seen that before the, the, the bones are also more dark in it Oh, the music. <laughs> 